It was a beautiful day in the town of Radiator Springs. A very normal day. Red was polishing Stanley at the end of town by the fire station. Lightning was cruising around. Sheriff was supervising Snotrod as he pulled Bessie through town to fix the pavement. Lizzie was chatting with the tractor, which didn't make any sense because the tractor couldn't talk back. And Flo was giving some gas to Mater as they all enjoyed a beautiful day. Luigi and Guido were anxiously awaiting the tow truck to pull in the car that broke down in the desert. And Ramon had just put a new paint job on Edwin Cranks. He was in town for a paint job. On the other end of town, Mac was chatting away with Sally as Sally was awaiting new customers to come in for the Cozy Comb Hotel. And of course, Serge and Fillmore were talking about the war and everything else under the sun. As day turned to night, Sheriff locked up the delinquent road hazards in the impound for the night and put Bessie away. Mac had decoupled from his trailer, and now Mater was chatting with Sally. Probably some pranks they're working on. And of course, Luigi and Guido fixed up the weary traveler and sent him on his way. And Ramon was chatting with Edwin Pranks again. And of course, Lizzie was getting ready to call it a night. She finished, count finished counting her postcards, and now she's going to go in. And the tractor is still sitting there. I wonder what's going on. All the lights were on in downtown Radiator Springs. The neon lights were glowing. Every sign was flashing. Lizzie's curio shop. Suddenly. <laughs> What is that they proclaimed? The power went off immediately. All the lights were out. The town was still shaking. Things began to fall. The cozy cone tipped over. Max's trailer fell off. All the delinquent road hazards escaped. And make things worse, the VA Cafe sign fell. Things looked very bleak for the town of Radiator Springs. Max's trailer was crashed. We had to bring in the National Guard to check out things. The sun came up the next morning. The town was in disarray. Max says, Lightning, Lightning, where are you? I'm over here, Mac. Lightning was buried in rubble and finally made his way through to the VA cafe. We need help in this town. We need big help. Bring in the National Guard. The National Guard borrowed the Dynaco chopper and looked in. We'll send help right away. The next day, they got the cozy cone straightened up and Max's trailer was all fixed up. The sheriff rounded up all four delinquent road hazards and got them back to the impound so they couldn't escape again. It took well over a week to get things back to normal. And there, things are back to normal. The tractor is still at Lizzie's and Lizzie's talking to Mater. And of course, lightning was so dirty, it had to be repainted. And Ramon did a great job. And of course, Stanley's looking after the fire truck again. Luigi and Guido are awaiting their next customer. And there's Mac talking to Sally like they were before. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you like this video. Please watch more of them, and um, we'll hopefully have a lot more new ones coming up soon. Have a great day.